I propose a toast to Friday. We fired a jokes at you like an automatic weapon of comedy. Hey, look at that smile. You know something that you're not telling us? I have herpes. Gas prices are down. Yeah, baby. There will be lively debate. Why do you hate America? What I've said in the past is that there's a difference between legal and illegal immigration. Some say they're essential to our economy. All I know is burritos are delicious. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. As of this writing, Lamar Odom remains in a coma and in serious condition after being found unresponsive in a Las Vegas area brothel Tuesday. Estranged wife Khloe Kardashian has not left Odom's side since rushing to the hospital where he is being treated. Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner have also rallied around the former basketball player. Though Khloe Kardashian and Odom both signed divorce papers in July, a judgment has not been entered into court, meaning they're still legally married married and the reality star is in charge of his medical care. Discussions are underway for a sixth installment of Die Hard that would serve as a quasi-prequel for Bruce Willis's cop character John McClane. In this new film, a younger McClane would be cast for a storyline set in New York City in 1979, though the film would also feature Willis as McClane in present day. NBC has released the promos for Tracy Morgan's return to Saturday Night Live this weekend. Hi, I'm Tracy Morgan, and I'm hosting Saturday Night Live season finale this week with musical guest Demi Lovato. Oh, no, Tracy, this is not the season finale. Oh, it will be after I'm done with it. Hi, I'm Tracy Morgan, and I'm hosting SNL this week with musical guest Demi Lovato. Ah, Tracy, it's such an honor to have you back, man. Back where? Back at SNL. Did I used to work here? Yeah. Yeah, Tracy, you worked here for like seven years. I can't remember anymore. Oh. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Bobby. <laughs> what? Yeah, I remember. I remember everything. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I remember you owe me $72. Oh, are you sure? It might have been 78 Yeah, I think that was Horatio Sands. It happens right. all the time. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Okay. Hi, I'm Tracy Morgan, and I'm hosting SNL this week with musical guests, Demi Lovato. Ah, Tracy, it's so awesome you're hosting. Everyone is so excited. Thank you, Bobby. I'm going to get everyone in this building pregnant. Miley Cyrus wants to do a nude concert with the Flaming Lips where the audience gets sprayed by milk. Sounds great, minus the parts about Miley Cyrus, nudity, and milk. Justin Bieber may have some trouble selling his new album in Muslim countries because he's shirtless on the cover. You can see his cross tattoo and Muslims have musical standards. A Vatican cardinal referred to liberals as beasts of the apocalypse. This guy is always saying outrageous things. They call him Father Trump. Warner Brothers will reportedly lose $150 million on Pan, which is amazing since Johnny Depp wasn't in it. American Airlines recently kicked a crying woman off a flight for no apparent reason. The rest of the passengers booed the flight crew, getting booed at work. Yep, welcome to my world. A Mexican restaurant in New York City will give any customer who can eat a 30-pound burrito in an hour 10% ownership of their business. The customer will have to decide if getting 10% of a restaurant is worth losing 100% of their colon. Cops in L.A. are on the hunt for a mother and son who beat up a man outside Dodger Stadium. Though, to be fair, when you're a Dodgers fan, attacking someone with your mom counts as quality family time. Dole is recalling spinach due to salmonella contamination, much to the delight of children everywhere. And another study has concluded that drinking red wine daily has lots of health benefits. But the study found that the amount is important. It shouldn't be more than one glass per night, no matter whom your daughter brings home as a date. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. The Jewel Radio Network, proud to present Frank D'Angelo and his 18-piece band Fall Concert Tour. Thursday, October 29th at the Orillia Opera House. Friday, November 13th at Casino Teatro Lac Lame in Gatineau. Saturday, November 14th at Teatro Corona Virgin Mobile. Saturday, November 21st at the Garrick Entertainment Center in Winnipeg. And Saturday, November 28th at Stonewall's Restaurant in Hamilton.